he had a chance to go home. You know, if I didn't, if I voted against him and Jessica could have sold him out or Dustin, it doesn't matter. She may have, you know, who knows? You can't trust anybody that has to make a decision of that value. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go home. But it's so weird because I haven't aligned with anybody. I tried to align with your dad weeks and weeks ago and he's like, I don't align with anybody other than on a weekly basis. All right. <clears throat> he constantly told me that I had to prove myself to him. And I was like, well, I voted to keep you in. Gave you my word. Sorry I didn't really express it in the way in which you understood, but I did. And then the next time I even told you and him, I was like, if you think you can get the votes to stay, I'll go against my word and I'll do it. I told him that. He knows that. Whether he does believe me or not, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So, in my perspective, I've kept him in this house twice. I think he can understand that I'm playing this based on a math, a statistical advantage, and the greatest asset I have is you both. And I think that. I think that's completely 100%. And he wants, and once again, he's like, stick to what you said you were going to do. You know, prove to prove to me that I'm that you know, I can trust you or whatever. Well, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to piss everybody off. For me, Jamika scares me just because she wants my head on a plate. <laughs> and we have one more chance after this as a get out of jail free week for her. And that's like a safety net to me. And if we take full advantage of the situation, yeah, we could probably get rid of somebody else and still have a chance to put her up, maybe. Or it could fail miserably and she could take me out. Or worse, she could be on the, on the, in the final two and, yeah, take, me, and take me down. Let's skip to next week and take every person and think of who they would put up and who their goal would be to go after. And that's what you need to figure out what's best for you. Right, and that's why if I put Jess and Eric against each other, either way, one, either way they're going to put me up again. If one of them goes home, then there's only one. Right, and then who does the one cling to? Certainly not me. Probably, I would like to think probably your dad, to be honest. And that's kind of scary for me. I'm definitely up for what, I, I mean, you know, talking about it, because I, I just like we're doing now, but I don't. Told you, it's more stressful than you think. I just, well, I just feel like she, she could totally take me down. How this game, like, easy. Yeah, but you can't, like, I, I know where you're coming it's from. It's risky to it's, leave one HOH available. No, I know, but at the same time, she can't play next week, so she can't come after you next week, just saying. So think of everybody else and think of, make sure that's True. what you want but if she plays, for next week. But if she's in the final four, so to speak. Yeah, well, what, like, you're guaranteed in the final five, but you're, I'm just saying you're not guaranteed in the final four. So what would make sure that you were guaranteed in the final four? Do you know what I mean? You have to play, especially right now, you have to seriously play, like, week by week. And that's why I'm, like, trying to see if I can gain security from you and your dad. I think that's my best play. I really do. Mm -hmm. If I know that next week you guys are fighting for HOH and win it, and I don't go up, and I can use the vote that whatever it is to send someone home, that's sweet. Well, I mean, realistically, I mean, it's a far-fetched idea. I'm not, I'll, I'll give it some thought. But if you guys wanted me to do what you thought was the right move, say, put Jess and Eric up, then there's, like, some kind of blood oath I would need for Jamaica to go home next week if either of you guys win HOH and I don't go up. Well, I'm not telling you what's the right move. I think you should do whatever is best for you. Well, I'm, I personally, I think what's best for me is to figure out a way to have security with you and your dad. Mm -hmm. And then all three of us should figure out how 
well, how that works. Not like in a rude way or anything, but I've been HOH twice and I haven't put you up. I haven't voted against you. I'm just saying. I know. And well, I could have, and really I didn't. not really worried about you. <laughs> I mean, I am because I, d well, today I was because I didn't get virtual confirmation of what was going on. I really didn't um, know how it was going to go. Well, I didn't, honestly, I didn't know what was going on. There was a lot of things being said this morning, and it, I was just, it was too much for me. But I wasn't I mean, nobody likes to somebody that you. Nobody likes somebody that is going to vote against you or whatever, but I don't really have anyone, so it was kind of hard for me to really make a decision I mean, I have to do the math. Yeah, you but, do the math, like, so. not to be mean or anything, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's like, it, what if Eric got, what if you put up Jess and Jamika and Eric gets the veto, or, no, no, no. Well, I don't know. What if Jamika gets the veto and takes herself off? Who are you going to put up? Eric? Mm -hmm. Me? My dad? 100% Eric. Because you guys are my greatest assets in this game. Mm-hmm. I understand what you're saying. If Eric wins and pulls Jess off, then when do you guys have to go up? Or what if you put, what if Jessica won it herself and took herself off? Are you going to put up Eric? Mm -hmm. 100%. He's going to be pissed at me. And on that note, then, like, at that point, then the three of us would have to make a decision on what we think is best for us and if that's then do you mean Eric versus Jessica or what do you mean either or you're talking about which one uh, ideally Eric versus Jamika that's a hard decision to uh, make. Uh, uh. and I would say whatever we think is the best move but w we would have to somehow come to an agreement that the other would have to be the one to go next mm -hmm. and I mean my mind's not made up, but I mean, I could be swayed to pull one of those two out, leave Jamaica up for next week. The odds are in our favor to win an HOH because there's two mm -hmm. versus one. Yeah, so next week there would either be three or four people competing. Right. And I mean, I'm up for... Either or, I mean, for me, it's like this is a commitment to your dad in hopes that he will fulfill possibly his end of a bargain that hasn't been established yet for next week. And all I have to say to you, like, in all honesty, Zach, for your own benefit, and like, honestly, I really hope that you don't tell anyone like that I'm talking to you about all this fine. stuff, like, seriously. But I'm, like, honestly, right now, I'm trying to help you, and don't listen to what other people have to tell you, because you never, I don't know, you just, like, my whole thing is, you know, my biggest mistake in this game, obviously, was voting out Nick. Um, once, like, I feel